YouTube, it's me, Hyper Viper, your old pal, here to talk about punk rock records, not necessarily from the 2000s, some from the 80s. These are my most expensivest ones. I went through and cataloged all of my 7 inches, which isn't that many because I kind of stopped collecting them because... Like I said before, it, I wouldn't have any money, but here's ones that I do have, and I was actually surprised. Some of them were worth, some of the stuff I thought would be worth wasn't, but this one, I always thought it would, I traded my buddy, Poison Idea. It was hanging on his wall, has a cut in it. This is the second pressing, blue, $169. I don't even remember what I traded for, but it was worth it. I wanted it really bad, but it, so the cover is cut up, so it's not worth that much because the cover is cut in half. Here's another album. That's on Fatal Erection. It came out in, oh boy, 1981 or something. I don't know. This is 1985's Drinking is Great Comp. Poison Idea E13 from Eugene. Poison Idea from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Lockjaw and Final Warning all from... Portland it has beer colored vinyl. This is second pressing of 300 or 500. I don't know. That Poison Idea one's blue. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't even. $60, I believe. I didn't. Okay, next. This isn't necessarily an expensive record, but a very influential record on me because I love this record. AMQA, cats are neat, cats are neat, cats are neat, meow, 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 love this, they're from Palayup, Washington, uh, let's see, that's $16, that's more of a nostalgia for me, because I, this is one of the, I really, <laughs> I don't know, I've always really liked silly music, and this is silly song, here's another influential, not necessarily expensive record, but Justice of Chaos from Seattle, Washington. Um, this is uh, $19.88, $16. But these guys were like older and really cool spikes all over their jacket and cool spiked hair. And they were like, it was like, whoa, dude. Um, RKL, Rich Kids on LSD. This is white vinyl. Has a funny kind of prank phone call, very inappropriate, but, um, uh, on, uh, white vinyl, blah, 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 $43. We'll just move on, because it's not that exciting, all this stuff. This, somebody gave this to me because I liked Pop Punk and, uh, Blink-182. This is, uh, the cover is They Came to Conquer Uranus, but the record... Even though it says it on the labels and everything, the record is actually Lemmings. So it's worth $47. And they, nobody knows how many of these actually exist. But it's a different record. And I it's, I listened to it a lot of times and was like, I don't think those are those songs. And then I was like, weird. I kept it because somebody gave it to me and it was for free. Uh, KSCK, 22. This is red and numbered. Desperate Attempt. Oh my god. Grilled Cheese was that one. RKL was on Super 7 Records. 1996 was Blink-182. KSDK 1992. Desperate Attempt. $22. Red. Numbered. Mean Jeans. I think I showed this one before. 57. Rehab Records. 2008. Two piece. Uh, this is from Portland, uh, Nick's from Portland. This is a single-sided, self-released, not a 300. Two different covers. I have the one with the first scale of glasses, and there's a cover with the Nick's get they have on those pair of glasses. It's twenty dollars, but I thought I'd show it because I like this record pretty good. Uh, no hope for the kids. I bought this for a dollar. It's worth sixteen. Masking backwards. I like this band, so I'm showing it. They're from Denmark. Angry Angles. Uh, I'm not sure where they're from, but this I think this is a J Retard and uh, Alex Brown, and I'm not sure what band she's in, but twenty-two dollars. Cause that anthrax from the UK, not the um, 
the metal anthrax from New York or wherever they're from. Um, $24 has got some water damage. I'll talk about that later at the end. Anthrax, Peace Punk. Uh, this one's 28 and this one's on Crass. 1982. Ripcord, this is a Flexi. This is $24. Um, that is 1986. Uh, this, Hate Beak. Wolf Pig. This is a bird, a band with a bird singer, and then multiple dog singers. What you might expect. Real <laughs> distortion. It's just, I thought it was funny. So $23, though. Worth keeping, huh? Half Life from Pittsburgh. $22. One of my buddies had this like way back in the day, and I really liked it, so I bought my own copy. Anti Schism, $25 from South Carolina. Peace Punk, 90, 89 this one, on Manifest Sound Words. Okay. Neurosis, Black Bootleg, numbered $31. I didn't know it was a bootleg. I had to look. I was like, why isn't this coming up on Neurosis? Uh, Icons of Filth, this one's 21, on Corpus Christi, right? Yep. And this one is 22 on Mortar Hate. This one, here we go, Poison Idea. Blue, numbered, blue marbled number, 1989, American Leather. Uh, yeah, 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 $53.00. This box set, 1994, $34. It's got a bunch of vans. Label on the back. All those vans you see. Okay. Different. And then they each have like a little 7 inch inside. Okay, there's that. And then we'll get to the end. Just, just a quick one. Most expensive is just. Nihilistics, this is my most expensive, 7 inch, $190 Visionary Records, 1982, unfortunately, we'll show you right here, so if you ever buy this for me, or my, whoever, my son, <laughs> when he gets them, uh, it's got some water damage. And it's not just water damage, it's cat pee damage, so that makes it less than $190 for sure. But, I mean, you can see it right there. This is yucker. It's all on the inside. The lyric sheet is in there, and it's all gross brown pee water. It smells like pee. If this cat would didn't already die a long time ago, <laughs> 20 years ago, he would be, or she would be, Kitsy Poodle. That was the cat's name. Darn her. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. So it's not actually worth that much. But, I mean, I'm sure it's worth something. It's over $100. But, anyway, that's uh, most... I was going through my 7 inches, and that's that. So I'm going to make a part 2 of LPs. And I'm going to make everyone a, a little Christmas present. I'm going to do a... Christmas album one. Okay, that's me, Hyper Viper. Bye bye for now.